the SAS video tutorial on grouped analysis in SAS part two. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University. All right, in our last video, we looked to see how grouped analysis worked by simply using a by statement. And it was pretty easy to do. It'll spit out all, all kinds of uh, information for you. However, I purposely made the data set nice for you to work with. Often data sets are not set up the way you want them to work and SAS often doesn't like to do things in the way that you think they should be done. So for this one, we're going to use the store sales onecsv data set. So you can go to the repository linked in the description below and pick that up and follow along or just follow along anyway. Okay, so let's get started. I've already read it in. Let's do proc box plot. Okay, simple analysis. Our data is our sales, and I've named it sales one in my case. So I've written it into a data uh, set called sales one, and I just wanna simply plot the sales, and in our data set, we can look at it here real quick, just so we, everybody's familiar with what we have. We have sales, and we have store, and we have day. So let's look at sales and store. So if I do this and then I run it, I get a picture out, which is probably quite useful for me. So if I run this real quick, I get this picture out. You can see each of the stores are listed here and I have a box plot of their sales that are in the data set. So these are the values that we can see in there. It gives us a distribution, gives us some idea of what we're looking at. However, let's just try to take this. We're gonna simply copy and paste this thing. So Control C, Control V, uh, if you're like that. Now let's just do this by day, right? That's the other variable in there. So if we do this by day, we can run this and let's see what happens. Whoa, something's went wrong here because the last time I checked, there's only seven days in a week, but we have a whole bunch of dots here and notice there's lots of repeats. And this is because of the way SAS handles uh, this categorical information. It expects the everything is in the appropriate order before you start because every time it sees a change in that variable it's going to create a new box plot for us so essentially all we did was print the actual data which is not that useful so let's go back and use a procedure to try to fix this problem so before doing this what i want to do is i want to use what's called proc sort and then here you put in the data that you're interested in Pretty easy, sales one, and then you're gonna sort it by what the variable we're interested in. Then put run, and what this will do is it will change the data set, and we can look and see what happened to sales now. Now you can notice that it is sorted by the day of the week, and then each of the stores come next. And you can put multiple arguments in, first sort it by this, then by this, and then by this. Right now, we're just gonna do the one that we're interested in, which is sales by day. So we had to sort it first, and now let's see if this fixes it. So let's run this, and now I get one for each of the days of the week. Now, my data set started on Friday, okay? So, uh, did it? Maybe, I don't know. But what's going on here? Why is Friday first, then Monday, then Saturday, then Sunday, then Thursday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday? Well, if you stare at this long enough, you'll realize that this is an alphabetical order. So just be aware that when you sort things, it's gonna sort it alphabetically, not necessarily by what you're interested in. Now we're gonna have another video that talks about how to convert days like Friday into days of the week. But right now let's just run with this and just notice that we had to proc sort it first. Now, now that we proc sorted it, what, what happens if we had lost this particular plot? Oh no, I've lost my sales and store plot. What do I do? Well, I'm going to come here and I'm going to just run this. And notice now this one's messed up. Now we have all of this repeated. And the problem here is, is that, um, again, the data is not sorted in the right order. So we need to use proc sort in front of this one. And what I tell people to do is if you're going to do anything where you have something that's going to go uh, along a specific categorical variable or in some specific order, it's better just to sort it first and not think about it later. But just know that every time I do this, I'm going to have to sort it by what I'm looking for. So later when we do ANOVAs, you will have to sort it by the particular variable. Uh, for any of these grouped analysis, if you're really wanting it to do grouped analysis well, you actually need to sort it first by the variable which you are going to do your grouped analysis by. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So here when I run this, 
uh, I get the picture back that I started with, which is great. But then if I just forget to uh, actually, you know, run the sort again, and I run this, this is I end up with a messed up picture. So what's the moral of the story here? Proc sort is really, really handy, and it's going to resort your data set. So just remember, it's actually sorting your data set for you. So it might have worked before, and now it doesn't work. Uh, which is a common complaint among students. They go, hey, well, I did this earlier and I got this picture, but now when I run my code, it's not right. Well, they've sorted the data in between. So just keep in track of what you're working on and remember to sort your data before you do any sort of grouped analysis. That's why this is part two. And this will show up again when we look at some other analyses later. All right, but now we can move on to the next video.